The RTA reusable UI elements are a set of visual design elements that allow you to enrich your online learning content, to create a dynamic layer and design, and to put placeholders into your content to make it very clear to students about that content's purpose. There are a range of different layout elements and you can navigate them through those quickly using the top navigation. And in each instance, these elements can be added directly to your online learning content and then edited within that content itself. So let me get started. Imagine for instance, that I want to add this read box to my Moodle course. I'm going to click the copy code button, toggle over to Moodle. Here I am, I've got a very boring looking uh, book chapter. I'm going to start editing that chapter. And now I can begin to work within the native editor of Moodle. But the little snippet I copied a moment ago is a piece of HTML code. So I need to paste that into the HTML view. Let me show you how. The first thing I'm going to do is to toggle to full screen so that I can see everything that I'm working with. And then I'm going to swap over into the HTML view. Now, not all of us are comfortable in working in HTML, but through this session, I'll show you some quick tips that will make that much easier for you. So let me get started by adding that read box. I might add it perhaps directly before the heading here. So I'm going to give myself a little breathing space, paste in that HTML. And then when I toggle back to this native editor, you'll notice now that it's inserted that UI element. But importantly, I can go ahead and edit this, adding my own content, text, links, etc. And so the great advantage of these UI elements is once they're in, you're just using the native editing features as you always would with Moodle. Let's add some more design elements now. Imagine that I want to add, for instance, a quote. So I'll go back to the UI elements. I'll go up to my quote box, click the copy code, back into Moodle. I need to decide where I want to add that code. So let's just imagine for a moment that I want to put the quote in just below here. This is a little tip for those less comfortable in HTML. You can add yourself a little breadcrumb, perhaps in my case, a series of X's, so that when I go back over to the HTML editor, it makes it very easy for me to spot where I've added those. Here they are here. I can take that out and paste in that snippet. It's just a little bit safer and easier that way, particularly if you're less confident working in HTML. Back to the native editor. Here I've got my quote. I better put some text in that. Run off, grab a quote from somewhere. This is an Albert Einstein quote, so I'll drop that into my content, paste it in here, properly attribute it, and I'm away. So in addition to the elements you've seen me add already, there are other design features that you can add, including, for instance, some responsive elements. These will make more sense as I work through them with you. These appear to be like tables, but are actually responsive to the size and design of the device. So they will look different, for instance, on a mobile phone than they will on a desktop computer. So if I take, as an example, this three column layout, I'm gonna copy that. I'm gonna paste it into my editor. I'm going to choose where I want it to live, maybe just below this heading. Return to the native editor. So you'll notice now that I have three columns and I have the opportunity, for instance, to add an image at the top of each of those columns. But perhaps I don't want three columns, maybe I only want two. So at this time we can dive back into the HTML. And this looks a little scary, but I'll step you through it. You'll notice that the HTML has comments in it that help us to identify each snippet of code. So for instance, I can see here, start a third card, delete if not required. Well, that's interesting to me. So I'm going to take that out. I'm going to go right down to the end of the third card. Delete that out, swap back to the native editor. And now you'll notice two things have happened. The first thing is that there's only two columns now, not three. But importantly, it's redesigned the layout so that this is responsive. And those two columns now fit the full screen. So I can proceed now to, for instance, swap out these image placeholders with proper images. I'm going to do that quite quickly. So 
So I've placed my two images in. I can add remaining text as appropriate. Again, I'll just do this really quickly. So I'm going to save this now. I'm going to swap out of my full screen view, save this page. And I just wanted to illustrate the dynamic or responsive nature of this content. So here you see those two columns laid out. Again, it looks a little bit like a table at this point, but imagine someone's on a smaller device. If I scroll this screen down, you'll see that they resize according to the available space. And then it pops. And you'll notice what was previously two columns is now two rows. In essence, what it's done is it's redesigned the layout to match the device or to the browser size. And this is a really important design technique to ensure that whatever browser, whatever device the student is consuming this content in, it will adapt to lay that content out in a way that's most appropriate to that viewer. And so using the techniques that you've seen before, you can continue to enrich your content with additional elements. But importantly, those elements, once they're in the page, are perfectly editable within Moodle.